Hello, today's devotional can be found in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. All right. The Savior shed his own blood for us. The sacrifices that were performed before the atonement were a symbol of what the atonement meant because for sacrifices like it would it was usually a firstborn lamb with firstborn male with no blemishes or imperfections it had to be perfect and if if it was a scarred up lamb, well, they just went to the firstborn of the next mother. But you see, it was a symbol of Heavenly Father giving up His only begotten Son that Christ may serve as a sacrifice for the world. And He did. By His own blood, He shed His blood in tears for us. that our sins might be bought, that we might be bought out of that place that is nothing but misery. And that way, that we might be able to look beyond death if we so choose. And He obtained his celestial glory, thereby opening the way for us to be able to do the same if we so choose. And we should not be afraid of it. Nor should we doubt. Christ died for us because he loves us. He he attained celestial glory, yes. In the process, he attained eternal redemption for us. This means for us that life goes beyond death. This means for us that our righteousness means something, but we can't pay him back. The best way we can honor his atonement is by using it, is by relying on it to, be, to progress from sinners to saints to something better. And to continue doing that and to do it without fear because faith is what will propel people forward, not fear. Fear is a barrier that can be knocked down and should be knocked down because fear is Satan's way and Satan wants us to fear the atonement so that we won't use it and help ourselves and share it with others. He wants to stop Christ's plan for meeting anything at all to us. He wants to stop God's plan for meeting anything at all to us. He wants to stop us from being happy while well, Christ died for us, giving us eternal redemption. Satan hates the atonement because he can't use it. He gave up his shot at using it because he was once an angel called Lucifer and was among the highest, not as high as Heavenly Father and Jesus, mind you, but he was among the highest. And because God didn't pick him to carry out the plan, he became jealous. And decided to rebel, thereby getting himself in the third group of the hosts of heaven dismissed from heaven from a chance at mortality from everything happy their spirits forever condemned to walk the earth in spirit form but spirits still have quite a bit of power if we let them
spirits can possess hearts if they are if they are allowed to. Spirits can take advantage of anger. Spirits can get into the mind and play tricks on it. Christ obtained eternal redemption for us. The best way we can honor that is to not listen to the nasty spirits who will try and destroy our so forth and try and pull us away from God. Christ didn't shed his blood so that we allow ourselves to fall prey. We need to stay firm in faith even when things are tough. And we need to teach others that faith is the way to go and that fear is of the devil. So that all may be able to partake of the wonderful redemption of the atonement. Because sins are the heaviest things we've ever, we will ever have to carry and why should we have to carry them when Christ died for them? Let us hand our sins over. That we don't have that burden on our backs anymore. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.